Hello, my name is Dr. Mohi Batarin. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I practice in Roseville, Minnesota. Even darker skinned individuals such as myself can make precancerous moles. I've noticed this atypical mole on my chest um, that's new and I'm over the age of 30. I won't tell you how much more over the age of 30 I am, but I am over the age of 30. And really any new mole, especially one that's growing and changing such as this little dark one, should be removed and, and at least monitored if not removed. Um, so what I'm doing today, since I don't feel comfortable keeping an eye on it, I do want it off. We're going to gently get it off today. So I'll go through the steps of these very, very simple precancerous mole removals now. So first what I do is I clean the area. Thank you. My colleague Alexandra, she'll be assisting. So I'm just cleaning the area. Then in my office, we use this little vibration device. What that does, that helps uh, vibrate to make those nerves a little less sensitive to the numbing. Will you go ahead and hold that for me, please, Alexandra? Great, you can go ahead and hold that, Alex. Perfect. So this is lidocaine. This goes into the skin and helps numb the skin almost in a few milliseconds. So here's a quick little pinch. One, two, three, pinch. I barely even felt that truly from the bottom of my heart. So here's the numbing going into the skin. And see the skin getting a little whitish. And again, I'm barely even feeling this. Good. Now Alexander's going to lift. You can see that little bit of swelling around the mole. I'm going to check it one more time. you can see how it makes the skin a little white and puffy. Going very slowly to just really bring that skin up nicely. Very good, so I'm gonna clean the area one more time. Typically if I was doing this on a patient, I'd be wearing gloves, but since it is my own skin, Good. So I just give the area a little bit of pressure. And there we go. The mogul's in the bottle for testing. You can see just a little bit of very superficial open skin. I'm going to cauterize that. May I have the cautery, please, Alexandra? And it should heal beautifully with minimal to no scarring. As a precautionary endeavor, since I do form what's called keloid scars, which are kind of thicker scars, I am putting a drop of cortisone medicine in to my little removal area. Because my adage is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So this little drop of cortisone medicine will help prevent my skin from making keloid. This is called electrodesiccation. This is a little bit of electricity that goes into the skin cells that helps make um, the collagen stimulated also helps prevent bleeding, so we're at a low level. So you can see just that little pinpoint contraction of the tissue to make it look really nice. Beautiful, and we're done. My atypical mole is off, and hopefully it's not anything further than just a little atypical.